Welcome back, everybody, to the Nerdcore Podcast, the podcast that reviews the movies and talks that nerd shit. This is episode 658, and it is your review of Tampopo. As always, this is the Nerd You Kind of Care to host show launch, our wonderful co host, Brad Young Yoda. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Wonderful. Brad? Yeah, I'm here. What did you say? You didn't say it? You said wonderful. Yeah, and then either my internet or your internet went. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know what the heck just happened there. Wonderful Thursday evening. Yeah, yeah. Thursday evening live and early for our patrons over at patreon.com slash the nerdcore where you can get this episode at an hour, uh, not an hour, a dollar, uh, uh, a dollar a month. You get this episode live so you can chat with us. And, of course, you get it before anybody else uh, gets to watch it or listen to it on Saturday at 12 p.m. But before we can get into the review, Brad, how are you doing today? Doing all right, doing all right. Um, longest three-day week ever. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, more like four-day week for me, <laughs> but yeah. Oh, my God. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's been a long day. Uh, I didn't. I'm gonna be real honest with you, Brad. I didn't think I was gonna have enough time to finish this movie today. I literally finished it like. Let me look at this real quick. Uh, about um, eleven, uh, eleven minutes. Eleven minutes ago. Yeah. Huh. Hey, let's finish it. Yeah, yeah. I I literally just finished it. I literally finished it like around eight twelve, I think. I had enough time to just lay down a little bit before we had to do this. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's been a long day. It's been a really long day. This is uh, why I watch them during the weekends. Yeah, yeah. You watch anything, Brad? Other than this? No, I mean, I think the last thing I really watched was uh, True Detective, season yeah. one, episode two. Yeah, good. Uh, definitely a good. Uh, a good. Um, watch, watch, watch along from us. So you guys should go check that on the Patreon at the five dollar tier. I'm just wondering so, how much Raul edited out of that. I still have not started to edit that. <laughs> I need to finish editing the first one, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just know, it, there's going to be edits. <laughs> there's going to be edits for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. There, there's edits for sure. Yeah, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, man. Well, I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you had a had a at least it's come to an end, right? Right? Because oh, um, God, I'm tired. Yeah, you um, you uh, today's your Friday. Yes, today is. Yeah. It's Friday payday. Oof. Yeah. yeah, I got to pay bills. Yay! Yeah. So when I go end up homeless. Yay! Mm, mm. Yeah, ain't that a ain't that a good reminder, right, Brad? Yeah. Like, you're like, oh, nice! I got paid, and then your bills are like, nah, we hey, got paid. Hey, nah, son, nah, you got you got debt. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, man! What a beautiful reminder of what we have to. What it's we have all to go through. cyclical. It's all cyclical, like a drain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you know, man, it's just it's just the way it goes, right? It's just the way it goes until until we what's it called uh until we either don't have to work anymore or we just die. Probably the die part. <laughs> yeah, man. Considering everybody's raising the age of everything to like over 80. Social security, meh, you might see it. Meh. Yeah. Meh. yeah. <laughs> meh. Probably not. Oh, meh. my God. Meh. Meh. Oh, man. Yeah. They'll, they'll have to, the technology to keep us, keep our bodies going until we're 90. Yeah. They're gonna make robots out of us, right, Brent? So yeah, that we can much. continue they're, they're podcasting. They're just gonna do cyborgs. I mean, they're already—it's the Neuralink. You know yeah. what comes after that in like thirty to forty years? Yeah. But um, well, Brent, I—I'm I, pretty sure we have something better and just happier to talk about. Today. I, I look forward to the future. <laughs> I look forward to the future. Yeah. Um, we have something better to talk about, and it's ramen. um, it's it's yeah, it's fucking ramen. Yeah, it's fucking ramen, bro. It's a movie yeah. about ramen. Yeah, uh, what a what a great what a great choice what a great choice. Uh, but with that said, if you have not watched Tampopo, 
You should probably get out of here if you care about spoilers. But if you don't care about spoilers, or you've already seen the movie, go ahead and stay. Either way, how it goes is your one and only spoiler warning, and it is in effect in a five, four, three, two, one. Oh my god. Why did I press that? But I don't know why you pressed that because I was pressing that. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Longer than it needs to be. Anyways, that was your spoiler warning. Was me and Raul yelling at each other to stop pressing the same button? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Brad, go ahead and introduce us to Tampopo. Okay, I'm gonna read from Criterion because Wikipedia is, is like course. two sentences. So, <laughs> uh, Tampopo, uh, a film by Juzo Itami, is the tale of an eccentric band of culinary ronin who guide the widow of a noodle shop owner on her quest for the perfect recipe, the rap rapturous ramen western by Japanese director Juzo Itami, is an entertaining genre-bending adventure underpinned by a deft satire of the way social conventions distort the most natural of human urges, our appetites. What a weird fucking sentence. Interspersing the efforts of Tim Popo, Nobuku Miyamoto, and friends to make her cafe excess with the erotic exploits of a gastronome gangster and glimpses of food culture both high and low. Oh the God. sweet, sexy, and <laughs> surreal Tim Popo. Again, this is ramen. Is a lavishly inclusive pay payon pan pan to the sensual joys of nourishment and one of the most mouthwatering examples of food on film ever made. And in three, two, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now we go over to wikipedia and uh here's what bill wikipedia says tempopo is a 1985 japanese comedy film written and directed by juzu juzo itami and starring sudomo yamazaki nobuku miyamoto koji yakusho and ken watanabe the publicity for the film calls it the first ramen western a play on the term spaghetti western um cinematography by Masaki Tamura, edited by Akira Suzuki, music by Kunihiku Morai, and uh, running time 115 minutes, and I don't have any box office. Yeah, it. Uh, yeah, we expect why, but um, Brad, uh, what are your initial thoughts on uh, Tampupu? Um, before I do that, they actually have a, a response. They have um a response from Roger Ebert on this. If you want me to read that, sure. Roger Ebert gave the film four out of four stars, commenting that, like the French comedies of Jacques Tati, it's mm -hmm. a bemused meditation on human nature in which one humorous situation flows into another offhandedly, as if life were a series of smiles. Mm. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. I agree with Roger. What was, uh, what was the score again? Four out of four. Four out of four. Wow. Okay, yeah. so that's his perfect score. Yeah. Wow. Which... You know what? I'm, I'm not going to go there, okay? We're going to celebrate the fact that he gave... He gave, good, gold, he gave yeah. good, yeah. yeah, he, yeah. He, I kind of agree. You know? Yeah. Maybe yeah. not perfect, but, you know, I agree with Roger. It's, yeah. it, it's, a, it's, it's a film that makes you smile. Yeah. And I, I think yeah. that's what's important here. This is a fun, entertaining, and qu pretty quick-moving film for being, being what? Almost two hours. Um, yeah, like, I think it's like three minutes shy, right? Yeah, it's 115 minutes, so it's yeah. five minutes shy. I just want to, um, I, I want to get a couple things. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Brad. Your initial thoughts. Sorry. Yeah, that that was. That, I mean, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought the acting was really good. I thought it was clever. Um, if you're someone who's a foodie, you're gonna enjoy this movie, and you're gonna laugh at some parts of this movie. Um, because overall, the greatest thing about it is it's a comedy, and it's fun. Yeah. Um, I want to get a couple things out of the way here. Juzo Itami, I am feel personally attacked at the beginning of this of this of this movie when he says, "What's it called?" Uh, goes when the people who are eating chips, he goes, uh, and you just hear those rappers, and he goes up there, he goes, "You do that while the movie starts, and I'll kill you." And I'm like, "Wow, okay." So oh, like, that man has a whole fucking buffet delivered to the yeah, goddamn movie. Yeah. Meanwhile, you've got a whole buffet, bro. You know, with a candle opera. Was... Yeah. So, um, <laughs> you know, fuck yourself, man. Yeah. 
I'm the pro- oh, but I'm the problem because I want I like to munch on some Doritos while I watch a movie. I mean, I'm kind of in agreement. Yeah. At least if you get like the nachos with cheese, they're kind of soggy, so they don't really crunch. You don't have the, the fuck fucking up, bag. Shut up, man. Yeah, but um. Man, I I thought this was a I thought this was a splendid film, bro. There is like, splendid. there is so much here that is just so much fun and so like, so silly. I mean, the, the like, a guy literally puts salt on a nipple and he fucking puts lemon over it too, and he fucking sucks on it. How that, does that not get that funny? I mean, and then uh, she just dunks it into uh, uh, whipped cream. Yeah. Her her breastuses, and uh, and then you have and then you have the scene where my wife walks in, where it's just a shrimp on her stomach bouncing around in the soup. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to explain to my wife, well, this was my choice, so I have no excuse. Yeah, you have no excuse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you have no excuse, Brad. That's well, that's no, all you, bro. That. Yeah, that's that's what you picked. I will accept that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but I I love the movie, bro. I I thought it was fantastic, dude. I I really I really was I thought it was really funny. Um, there's a lot being discussed here that that is beyond the surface of like this comedy. I mean, it's it's so much uh about the way that that we take certain things like food and we kind of bastardize it and we. We try to make it feel like this thing that we need to um, we need to perfect to get everyone's approval. But like in the end, it was really about Tampopo getting her approval and feeling confident about being a cook. And do you feel do you feel like it's like the food version of the Odyssey, almost? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, because it, it's someone who's lost, the and. Her, she owns a restaurant. She's lost. She's trying to provide for a kid, but she doesn't make very good ramen. And the only no. people who are at her establishment are drunkards until two wandering souls basically come through and lead her on an adventure for her to gain, you know, fame and fortune. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's the Odyssey, but there is an Odyssey to it. <laughs> so there's some Odyssey to it, right, bro? Yeah. And I mean, you have the, the, the one eyed uh, fucking ogre. Um, and the drunk dude who actually becomes friends, uh, with our, our two truck driver heroes, basically. And then he, like, fuck that man, that man changed that whole place up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, but um, I, I think I, I like there's so much being said, right? And um, I, what I also found to be really compelling was like the fact that there's st- the stuff with the kid, bro. Like, <laughs> is it me, Brad? Was that kid being bullied because his mom's uh, ramen sucked? Yeah, I think so. I think that was the the take on that. It's like your mom's cooking sucks. We're gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> He's home every day to his mom, be like, "Mom, did you learn like, to be And she's like, "I'm just doing the best I can." He's like, "That ain't good." Well, your best isn't good enough, your man. Your best ain't good. It gets keep getting my ass kicked. <laughs> keep getting my ass kicked, and you're over here. Just letting them do it because your yeah. food sucks. Yeah, you just tell me to go upstairs and shit. Like, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> I love, I love how like the the guys who walk in, they just notice like the water's not boiling. This yeah, is gonna the, be terrible. Well, and I love how before that, it's them reading. One of them's reading like a book on how to eat ramen and how ramen should be prepared yeah. and all that. And they walk in there, and they can already tell like this is this, this is, is not gonna good. be good. This yeah. isn't gonna work. And of course, the assholes, the what's it called, the the people who are there who end up having to, who end up staying there to actually, what's it called, become like loyal, what's it called, customers of the of the of the restaurant. Yeah, I mean, and then um, also this this is kind of a, a western. It kind of it kind of has that feel to it. You have huh? a character who continuously wears a cowboy hat, so there you go. And then you have the scenes. You have some scenes filmed like a western. The fights. Um, yeah. I, I mean, just the the back and forth looking at each other, uh, cutaways. That's very much like a western, which just adds to this film because this film is just very unique. And I and can, can we, say that it's just unique. And can we also talk about the fucking end credits? Like, like you you, you know, I I know this is Itami. Like, you know, this whole movie was a comedy, but he literally is having the credits play on a woman breastfeeding a child. Yeah. I actually, I was like, I was trying to 
look, so I looked up info on that because I was just like, what are we, what? okay, this is kind of, this is weird. This is weird. It just ends it this way. And then it, it's basically what I found was that he's commenting on, you know, how great Japanese cuisine is that it starts from the breast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, like that's, it's, it's so funny because they make the they make that that joke at the end where they're like, "What's going?" And I never thought that a woman would be a good ramen cook. And it's like, your first ever food you ate, the first thing you ever tasted in your life that wasn't your own spit, was your mother's milk. Unless you weren't breastfed. Yeah, unless you weren't breastfed, right? But <laughs> na- but basically, chemical. naturally, the first thing you ever taste in this world, yeah, is your mother's milk. And it comes from a woman, and you're here, and you're like, and you're here thinking they're like, oh, a woman can't make good ramen. It's like, <laughs> you were you were sucking on that woman's tip once ago, who was making ramen for you at one point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they just had scenes in this and characters in this. I love where they they have the woman um, giving the um, the class um, on how to properly eat food in western countries <laughs> yes yes and then you got yes. a westerner over there slurping up louder than shit and so they yeah. all just give up I'm trying <laughs> and to it, see- that's what's really fun is um you have stories within the major story because I, I i'm not sure why i i quite enjoy it but like it cuts away to these other stories and you get it very interesting like the man who comes home and his wife's dying and he's like, she can't die. Like, look, she got three kids. She got me. She got. She got to, you know, work on the house. And he basically says, "Go make me dinner." Yeah. <laughs> Liv, yeah. you gotta live. Go make me dinner. And she goes up, and then in her last dying effort, makes some fried rice, and then proceeds to die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then when the two when the two people what's it called sneak in to look at the guy who's making the what's it called food in the kitchen like through a yeah 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 well that was um that was part of the main story though yeah 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 yeah. that's that's the woman are but that was cool where you're just like oh this guy this guy is just gonna steal her shit and then you realize you know what he's doing he's getting money so she just watched him through the hole in the wall (laughs) yep yep and like you see like and that's what i really appreciate from itami's movie here is like it's very um I wouldn't. I don't think it's bleak. I think that no, it's very it's witty comedy that has a lot to say underneath it. And uh, I know he has another movie in the in the collection called The Funeral that I've wanted to watch as well. Uh, but I like I said, I I, I really liked I really liked Tom Popo. Um, I, I, mean, I also it's a, it's a fanciful movie. I mean, you look at the scene where you see the street urchins, the bums, and you're like, oh, this is, yeah. is going to be a sad part. And then they're all foodies. Yeah, they're, they're all like, fucking they're foodies. They're all judging and criticizing the, the food, bro. And they're like leftover wine. Like, this was a great year. Like, they don't know what they were missing. And I'm just like, you're all fucking foodies. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, oh, my God. It's like, it's, it's come on, dude. Like, what? <laughs> and then they break it into another kitchen to make the kid... Um, the I think amiguri the the rice yeah. the egg on the rice dish oh and it comes out perfect and and I can't forget uh when they're all in the restaurant and they're all ordering everybody's like doing what's it called like okay I'm oh, gonna yeah, try the, to consume and all that yeah I was like I'm gonna try to consume I'm gonna try to consume and then you get to the kid to the teenage guy to the young dude uh, yeah who's probably the he's son like, of the fucking owner like, uh, and he's just like, naming yeah. shit off that 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 sounded way better than the consume yeah yeah. <laughs> They're all in there, and his dad is just like, Shut the fuck up, like, just order the goddamn food that we get. Like, why are you fucking making this whole thing? Everybody's like red in there, and it's just like, <laughs> like, oh, I, either that, ki- that kid's gonna get the best meal or he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, it's it's so it's so funny though. It's and I and I found that to be so funny because there is it's kind of them like it's also saying, like, hey, why don't you just conform? Like, why why do you have to be your own person? Well, like, and compar- it's also conform saying to that, us. Th- it's also saying the older generation doesn't quite know how to order at these different restaurants Mm -hmm. because they all just order the same thing after the first guy. He's like, yeah, I just don't fucking do that. Yeah. You could, you literally could have just said you, I can't believe he's asking you like you want a super salad and you're like, I'm going to try to consume it. What? Somebody just, somebody just break with it and try the salad. Damn. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Did somebody just somebody say super sad. What's the concept? I'm I'm sorry. I'm 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 fact checking. That's here. a soup. Is it this like isn't a, the one the it's like a oh, yeah. soup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I guess that was the soup they were offering, or was that something yeah, different? Yeah, that's, that's just another way to say soup, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I because like I know what consume like for birria is like mm -hmm. that's that's the the on the side that they that they let you dip it into yeah yeah that's right like, too. yeah god that, that 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 was so funny and like he little guy at like literally the young guy is just like well, what about this because when I went over there they made it with this so what are y'all making and like oh my god like everybody was hating him like dude just fucking order already but this is just a fun overall fun movie. And yeah. you know there was, I think, slight pacing in the yeah, middle. Yeah, there was slight yeah. pacing. I don't think it ruined the movie at no. all, really. Um, overall, like I just really yeah. enjoy this movie and would love to just watch this. Like, this could be like an every year watch. Yeah. Also, I know that I'm playing. I, I know that I'm. I brought up the the what's it called the the chips thing in the beginning, but I have do have to say that is a very um very fun and interesting uh fourth wall break to start your film with i thought i was like okay i was like this is interesting this is definitely gonna be like uh like quite the um quite the way to open this movie oh yeah and then um you the random yakuza death from the guy who opened the movie yeah <laughs> and then he's like we i wish we could have hunted boar yeah <laughs> Yep, yep. It's like, oh, before I die, let me tell you about the boar. <laughs> <laughs> With your final dying breath, that's what you wanted to get off. Yeah. He's like, it's so delicious. Yeah. This is this is a love letter to food. That's what this is. Yeah. Let's in, in the in like you know, like Bourdain. You know, Bourdain says like at the end of the day, like like you know, if we can sit down and have a meal, like we forget about forget about race, we forget about class, we forget about everything. It's just us sharing a meal. And I think that's kind of what Utami, Utami's saying. Like, you know, all these things that separate us and all these things that, you know, make us so different. And, you know, in the, in the way that we've tried to, like, say that we're more important because our food looks different than yours. It's like, at the end of the day, it's, it's food and it unites us as just being yeah. people. And you just have to be willing and open to try it. Because at the end, and not at the end, because in the beginning, we all ate the same thing. Our mother's milk, if we were breastfed. But I'm pretty sure at that time, mostly everybody was breastfed. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Well, I don't know when, when the companies with the that came with baby formula showed yeah. up. It was probably the 80s. Mostly everyone was being breastfed at that time, though. Yeah. <laughs> with my last breast, let me tell you about my box wine from Francis Ford Coppola. Coppola. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... you're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Watch out, Stacy. You might just get called uneducated and stupid in the, in the comments for that. And ugly. Yeah. yeah. Which, Stacy, you're in none of those things. So. Yeah, you're not, man. But watch out. Don't bring up Coppola's wine, bro. Yeah. That's the yeah. first thing they go at when, whenever yeah. they they get upset at you. It's like, oh, you're jobless. Oh, you're stupid. Ah, uh, you're ugly. You're ugly. And it's like, mm -hmm. that doesn't hurt my feelings at all because I've looked at your picture. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like who's Brad's like I have a wife, bro. You don't. <laughs> I got a wife, a job, and two degrees. So I don't. Yeah. I don't know what y'all on. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, but um, Brad, what is your uh, final verdict on Tampopo? I am going to give Tampopo a nine out of ten. All right, man. Uh, I'm giving Tampopo an eight and a half out of ten. I really enjoyed it. I gotta yeah. say, I, I I thought it was really good, and I thought that it has a lot to say. And at the surface, it looks like it's just a movie about ramen, but there's a lot more going on there that I think that Itami's actually talking about. Also, good fight scenes. Good fight scenes, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> but that concludes our review of Tampopo. And as always, we would like to thank you all so much for joining us. Keep up to date with us on nerdcore.com, Twitter at the nerdcore underscore, Instagram and threads at the nerdcore, TikTok at the nerdcore. And, of course, our Discord link is in the description below so you can keep talking to us about this film and other films that we discuss on this podcast of course if you're on youtube please make sure you leave a comment tell us which is your favorite movie from uh, from juzo to utami do you uh do you like uh tampopo and do you recommend the funeral that's the one that i do want to check out from him because i know it's also in the criterion collection and of course if you're watching uh on youtube like right now like you're saying like i was saying please make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss another review on this channel and of course, if you're watching, if you're listening on the audio side of things, make sure you leave a five-star review on your favorite podcast app of choice. 
And of course, make sure you're following us as well. All of that helps us out so much. It helps us get to more eyes and of course makes it possible to bring you guys more reviews. And of course, we want to thank our wonderful patrons because without our patrons, it's not possible. Make sure that you all consider joining our Patreon by going over to patreon.com slash nerdcore. At the $1 tier, you get this episode live and early before anybody else gets to watch it or listen to it. And uh, along with that, you also get some extra episodes that we record on the side or, you know, our, our Monday episode that we record uh, live for Patreon as well. And it goes up on Tuesdays at 12. But all of that possible through Patreon, and we want to thank them because they make it possible. And of course, our wonderful executive producer, Shane, where can they find him, Brad? You can follow our friend Shane at twitch.tv slash XSRK or on Twitter at thrifted.il or go buy something from the stuff you got at prisoncityvintage.com. Damn straight, man. And of course, um, that's it for this week, y'all. But uh, we'll be back next week. We got more movies. Uh, we're wrapping up Godzilla Month with uh, Shin Godzilla on uh, on Monday for Patreon, Tuesday for for uh, the people and the public. And, of course, on Thursday, we have our mini pod at the $5 tier. And then we have live show Friday and Saturday and then uh, AW Revolution Watch Along on, Mon- on, on Sunday for me. And uh, just for just a buck... You can help Brad. Uh, he can help Brad get his four doors fixed. He just wants out of his room. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a door there and I got stairs there and I never take the stairs. <laughs> but without further ado, Brad, let's get him out of here. All right, Raul, thank you being host as always. Thank you to Stacey for joining us in chat today. Thank you all our listeners out there, all our Patreon supporters. We appreciate each and every one of you. And to end this uh, episode, I think it's only right to say, if you enjoy the noodles, slurp them loud. Young Yoda out.